my life before Christ. Growing up, I was the only deaf person in my family. And we would attend church pretty regularly, but that church didn't provide any interpreting. So the information that was delivered, any of the spiritual connection about Christ or Jesus, it just wasn't accessible to me. So it made me feel as though I didn't want to go to church. What was the point? It was just to check it off the list of things to do. And that became, for me, why I just became more selfish. I was focused on myself. I really liked taking control of my life. I focused on taking advantage of anything I could, including alcohol. I fell into that. I fell into partying, going out with friends, drinking, and I didn't care about the consequences. The moment that I decided to trust Christ. Really? There were two of my friends, really awesome friends, who decided to invite me. And at that time, my fiance, well, now she's my wife. So we went to church. In the beginning, I felt like there was no point. I like my independence. I like doing things my own way. And so church, I just didn't understand the point. But I decided to go ahead and give it a try. So we came and the experience was beyond my expectations. Here at Northridge, I felt at home. And again, growing up as the only deaf person, seeing that they provided ASL services was so cool. The worship was beautiful. The sermon and the message. Every aspect of the service impacted me. And I felt like my heart and my mind were finally open to understand that Jesus wanted to connect with me personally. What my life looks like now, that I'm following Jesus. That selfishness is fading. Hanging out with friends and going out has decreased significantly in my life. I've now been sober for one and a half years. And I just feel like that's an amazing blessing. And now I just value so much building relationship with my intimate people rather than going out and trying to be a social butterfly. And I really enjoy reading the Bible now. I can't get enough of it. Studying God's word and knowing who he is. Why I want to be baptized today is to reflect that Jesus is my savior and that I'm ready to surrender my life and to fully trust him and to follow his plan. And to show my community that it's okay to learn and to repent. And to move forward like my experience. I'm hoping that my baptism today influences others to see that they can learn and they can repent too. Matt, man, bring tears to my eyes. I'm so grateful for you as a friend. Your story reminds me of Matthew in the Bible who comes to be Jesus' disciple, learns who he is, and then just starts obeying him. It's like, yes, leaves everything behind and starts obeying Jesus. It's just crazy. It's like, I've never met a friend like this where it just completely turns around and you start following Jesus and whatever he says, all right, let's do that, let's do that, let's do that, and the next thing, and the next thing. It's so cool and so crazy. You're such a servant leader. Um, people look up to you. You make such a difference in our community, the deaf community. I'm so proud of you. I'm honored to stand here with you today. Um, and it's just amazing to hear God change your life. In each conversation, I felt like you were closer to Jesus. You read the Bible more, you pray more, you're going to work, you work more than anyone I know, and you're still making time for Maggie and for Newt to lead your family. It's just a privilege and a blessing to watch you grow, to watch you glorify God more each day and each step of the process. It's just been crazy cool. And so thank you for sharing your life with us. And thank you for being an amazing brother to us. And we love you so much. And we're excited to see you take this next step of obedience to Jesus and to follow him once again and be like Matthew in the Bible and say, yes, Lord, I'll be obedient to whatever you have for me and for my family. We love you so much. We're looking forward to watching Newt grow up. <laughs> Based on your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Love you, bro.